In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to identify resource overallocation problems. Here we have our project, and all of the resources have been assigned. The first thing that we need to do is view our resource sheet. We click on the Gantt chart drop down menu here under the Task tab and click on Resource Sheet. We can immediately see that one of our resources is highlighted in red. This indicates that this resource is over allocated. In addition, we can see a warning sign over in the left hand column for this resource. If we place our cursor over this, MS Project will tell us that we have an over allocation issue that needs to be solved. We do not have enough software engineers to meet the peak demands at some point in our project. In order to find out specifically when this issue occurs within our project, under the Task tab, we click on Resource Usage. Remember that we only have three software engineers working full time. Here we can see that during the week of January 17th, we need more than three full-time software engineers working as depicted by this resource being highlighted in red. We have a conflict between code A and code B. Code A needing three software engineers and code B needing additional two software engineers. Another way to view over allocation problems is to go to the resource graph. You can do this by clicking on the Gantt chart drop down menu under the task tab and then clicking on resource graph. We can see that the resource being viewed here on the left is our software engineers and that during the same time as shown in the resource usage chart we are over allocated by two software engineers. Using the resource graph is just another way of looking at the same problem. The advantage of the resource usage chart is that you can see which activities are involved.